hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, I've been playing with a fair bit of IoT that is the Internet of Things recently, and I've come across the MQTT protocol. It works slightly differently from what exists out there, you know, basically web protocols. So let's take a closer look at what it really is and what it means to use it. But let's start at familiar territory. That is, with client-server protocols, again, like HTTP. Now, these have several limitations. Firstly, of course, well, a client-server protocol implies the existence of a server. If you're going to be interconnecting multiple devices, then one of them needs to act as a server, and basically your devices will have to have a direct connection. This can be problematic for, well, a bunch of reasons. First and foremost, because you're essentially setting up your own server, then you need to make your server discoverable on the network. There are some challenges to doing this, including things like security. Because everyone's connecting directly to you, you have to manage things like, well, what if there was an unexpected disconnection? What if there is packet loss, right? What if something gets corrupted along the way? Since you're building the server yourself, you've got to think about all these things. Also, there is an issue of scalability. That is, if you're going to add more devices that, again, can act both as a client and a server, well, things start to grow exponentially. The connections you have to make start to increase. So if you were to stick to, well, your traditional client-server setup, then there's a lot you need to handle, and the complexity doesn't scale well. In comes MQTT. Instead of using a client-server model, MQTT uses a publish-subscribe model. What this means is that, well, essentially you'll need a third party called a broker. You can actually have your own broker server, or you could use a third party one, but the broker serves a very important role because it is the middleman. Your devices now never connect directly to each other, they connect to the broker, who forwards the messages along. What this means is technically if we were to look at things from a client-server kind of standpoint, you realize that essentially everything becomes a client. Only the broker acts as a server. And how publishing and subscribing comes into play is through what is known as topics. A topic is essentially a channel of communication. So if I publish to a topic, everyone who is subscribed to a topic will receive that message. It's as simple as that. This is extremely scalable because every new device that comes along is just one more connection. So the scale is linear rather than exponential. MQTT also provides quality of service tools as well as what we call persistent messages which will help you keep track of when devices disconnect, whether it's unexpected or not, and if there is packet loss, a way to deal with that. So MQTT essentially has everything in place, and if you were to use an online third-party free broker, then you can easily set up IoT solutions without thinking of building the server yourself. So yeah, it's extremely convenient. Of course, I don't want to just sit here and talk about MQTT, so let's roll together a very quick demo. Essentially, what I have is a WeMOS board, which is a modified Arduino board that has a Wi-Fi chip on it, a little bit of code to use MQTT, as well as an MQTT app on my phone. The WeMOS board is connected to an LED, which I can control using my phone. Do bear in mind that there is no direct connection between these two devices, in fact, these two devices don't know of each other's presence. All that's happening is my phone is publishing to a channel that my WeMOS bot is subscribed to, and that's all that's necessary to make these two devices work together. That's the power of MQTT. Well, that's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. I hope you've gained some insight today. But until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with NerdFirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.